This is Brian, and welcome back to this commentary playthrough of Lupia 2. Let's pick up in the middle of the scene here, where, yeah, the one guy from Ankirk betrayed and stole the icon, and he's giving it to the Kingdom of Grazi. Wait a minute. What the? Who are you? That ruby icon is a symbol of peace between Dan Kirk and Aurelio. I can't and won't let you use it for your own greed. Whoever may permit it, we will not. Who the blazes are you? Give us your names. If you insist. Here stands the invincible and mighty warrior Guy. And here is the warrior of justice, Baxon. And here, the genius of the century, Lexus. Lastly, I present the magical wife, Magical Selen. Hey, guy. That's a really stupid name you thought up for me. What's wrong with it? I think it's cool. Are you trying to insult me? Erg, get them. Get them. All right, so here we go. We got... Okay, that's four soldiers. Ah, oh, that's right. I don't have enough IP built up with most of my characters because we kept getting wiped out by those one enemies. What about a bolt to all of them? I don't know how much their total HP is, but I feel like that's not a terrible start. Ooh, there we go. Lexus might be a good contributor in this battle. I think we're probably in a good enough position to just go ahead and attack. I would guess we're gonna have more of a boss fight here yet or something, but maybe not. It was worth 10,000 experience. Arr, you won't get away with this. We're close. Please open the door. I'll take this ruby icon, all right. But what are you going to do with me? That is for your king to decide. Are they going to automatically take me back? Okay, well that wasn't as bad as I thought that. James, did, did you really? As king, I cannot forgive your conduct. You must pay for your evil deed. Take him away. Your majesty. Let us get on with the signing ceremony. Indeed. For eternal peace between our neighboring lands. Will things be okay from now on, Maxim? Well, the rest is up to Dan Kirk and Aurelio. There's nothing more for us to do here. Yeah, I guess so. Signing ceremony ended peacefully. This might signal a new start for Gedan Kirk and Aurelio. It left me with a somewhat uneasy feeling, though. Well, I don't know. Prince Leon, let me give you back the ruby icon. Oh no, I gave it for peace between our countries. I'm sorry, but I cannot accept it. Please, it belongs to Aurelio. Besides, I just wished it for an imitation. Our secret. I don't need it anymore. There's something in this country I want more. But I shouldn't say what. I beg your pardon? Princess Thea, what I really want is... This piece will probably last a very long time. I think so. Yeah, so they're probably going to get married, which I thought was kind of the point of this 
connection between the countries anyway, but I guess not. I don't know how to thank you. Please come and visit my country someday. We were already there. How can I thank you for what you've done? I'll do all I can to keep this peace eternally. Well, I mean, unless you're going to be around eternally, I don't think you can guarantee eternal peace. I think with that, I'm going to go back to Aurelia and see if they'll open that water gate for me yet. Because it didn't seem like the prince was going to say anything more for now. Barum Kingdom lies beyond the water gate. Our northeast of it is emitting something. This has caused quite a stir in Ferrum Kingdom, I hear. I guess we really did it. We gave the ruby icon to Dankirk. I heard the princess of Ferrum Kingdom is looking for a husband. That's... That's hard if you're a princess. What? Okay. Good thing we became friends with Dankirk. They might have attacked us, you know? There's a country beyond the water gate called Ferrum Kingdom. Okay. Yes, everybody's talking about it. That must be the next destination. That's the same thing that guy said before. It doesn't look like much, but this is Aurelio Palace. Yeah, he didn't change anything either. Are these both here? I wonder if the rumor about our prince and the princess of Dankirk is really true. Seems like it. Prince Leon's been in such a good mood. I wonder if something nice happened. Maybe. I heard from Prince Leon about your brilliant work. I don't know how to thank you. We'll open the water gate right away. Please go through freely. Oh, you're here. Thank you so much for Dankirk and the Ruby Icon. We'll keep the water gate open for you. Please go through at your own pace. Well, after I can go through and get to the next town, I probably won't really need it because I'll be able to warp. It shouldn't be too far to the next town? Okay. From the way they made it sound, so this is probably Ferrum. Yeah. Northeast Tower has been emitting a weird light recently. Wonder if that means anything. Maybe it's a lighthouse that's just finally active. The Northeast Tower is involved in choosing the princess's husband. That place is full of monsters. I wonder if they know what they're doing. I saw the golden man who came out of the sky onto the Northwest Tower. It's true. I really saw it. Princess Garrett's suitor is right here now, but he doesn't look so interested. I wonder why. Just no attraction, maybe? There are always monsters in the Northeast Tower, but there are more of them these days. Let's stay over. I didn't really look to see if um, we'd restored after the dungeon or not. They probably did it automatically, but... I'm okay with staying at the end anyway. The princess's suitor is named Eric. He's a rich jerk from a kingdom across the sea. Yeah. Now we got stairs going up and down. Princess Garrett is getting married. Can't wait to be a bride too and have a huge wedding cake. I have to cook something special for Eric. The rich eat different food from us. Sometimes. Welcome. Pick out the weapons you want. Okay, items, weapon, and armor. A royal whip, huh? Or a silver rapier? So that's effective against undead. And this is good for ice. I'll probably go with that for her. Just so I have a little bit of variety.
quilted silk. Okay, so it's revive plus HP up by 50. If you use it when they don't need revived, I guess. Up six for regular defense compared to down four for magic. Eh. I think I might just stick with what he has for that. Yeah. And we're gonna stick with the one that gives me better attack power. And it doesn't even have an IP. No thanks. Look upstairs first. Oh, our princess set a condition on her marriage. Something to do with the Northeast Tower, I hear. I didn't really need to go back down the stairs. Hans must have mixed feelings, too. Oh, Hans is a soldier of this castle. Hans is bodyguard to the princess. Crazy about her, they say. But he's a soldier, you see, and... Yeah, the princess can't marry one of the common folk, I suppose. Eh? I never see people like you around here. You look like warriors, and good ones at that. I guess you have excellent eyes. Not only my eyes that are excellent, I am also a good swordsman. My name is Hans. I'm Guy. This is Maxim, Selen, and Lexus. Maxim? You're the party that did Gaty's in. What a stroke of luck to meet you. Even people on the Ustark continent are talking about us. Anyone who knows anything at all about swordsmanship would know about you. By the way, do you know anything about the guy who landed on the Northeast Tower? Someone has landed on the Northeast Tower? Yeah, some stranger. Since he appeared, monsters have begun to appear in hordes. Maxim, that might be... I guess the remaining Sinistrals we haven't met. What? Who are the remaining Sinistrals? I hear there are three others with the power of Gades. That, that might have been one of them. What? If that's really true, then... Yes, that means this kingdom could be in danger. Alright, I'll check out the Northeast Tower later. I wouldn't move on this so fast. They're a lot stronger than you think. But I was going to the Northeast Tower anyway. There's something I have to do over there. What do you mean? Eric's attendant asked me to bring the gem back from that tower. And you agreed? If that makes our princess happy, I... I've got to go. See you guys later. So we're going to have to go save him, probably. I wonder if this kingdom is okay. What does that mean? Let Hans face danger and reward him well, and he should be fine. He's just a soldier after all. Yeah, that was the thoughts. Now he's actually talking. Oh, it's you. I didn't know you were there. Is there anything I can do for you? Which one's supposed to be Eric? I'm assuming one of these is. Thank goodness. I'll just wait for Hans to come back. Secret, okay? This castle isn't well off, hence the marriage of the wealthy Eric to our princess. Hard times. It's a hard thing to be a princess because you can't marry the one you truly love. Yeah, I mean, there are other perks to it though, I suppose. Okay. That just looped around there. This one probably just goes back up to that outside area I was at. Yep.
Nobody can bring back the gem from that tower. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just thinking about something. Can I help you? I don't know if that's supposed to be the princess or not. I guess I'll find out if she's not in the... Okay, yeah. Behind this door is Princess Jarrett's room. And then is there still a king? Or is she the one in charge overall? Have you also come to tell me not to go to the tower? No? You mean somebody else talked to you about the tower? Yes, one lady traveler told the king that it was dangerous to get close to the tower. Of course, he didn't take it seriously. Somebody said she also headed to the northeast tower. That would be Iris, I would guess. The condition the princess set for her marriage to Eric is, to, is such a pain. Yeah. But she doesn't really want to marry him, I guess. Princess Jarrett's condition was to bring back the gem from the top floor of the northeast tower. But there are monsters and a mysterious light at the north at, the, at night. We can't let Eric go on such a, to such a place. Eh. A little tongue-tied there. Okay. Well, I hadn't checked out the basement yet, so let's check that out. Otherwise, I guess we're going to the tower. Ah, okay. Even underground, we're here to serve you. What can I do for you today? What's the other one? Bells. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the underground spell shop. Okay. Yeah, that's going to be a good one to get. Probably for both of them. Not so worried about giving one to Lexus, because I don't think he's going to be a permanent party member. Maxim can't use the Firebird, but he can use the Ice Volk. I don't have enough to get these for everybody. I might go with that for him, just because he doesn't have as much good offensive magic otherwise, I don't think. Yeah, I guess I should probably use some of his magic a little bit. By him, I mean Lexus. And there were other spells back at one of those other towns that I hadn't bought yet because I didn't have enough money. So. I'll, pro I'll try to remember that if I do get a lot of money stored up again. Hey, Northeast. We got a mad head. Kinda looks like they're smiling. Maybe it's the madness as in crazy. Yeah, he is trying to confuse us. At least it only landed on one. Alright, that one leveled up. There's a tower. Northeast Tower. Yep. We'll see if this guy's different. Okay. A dark spirit. Yeah, I haven't fought them. And yeah, his weapon is good against the undead now, so... I should probably split my attacks a little better. If I fight a lot of these guys and have Max and just take out one of them on his own. So it seems like he could probably one-shot him. Got a shriek. Okay, 
I generally tend to think of bombable balls as not being the correct way forward, so I like to check them out first. Yeah, and they're both going up the stairs. So let me check this one out before that. And I will try to fight that guy there to see what the heck that is. Some kind of a bowl. I can... I can hook that across here, I guess. Let me see this one first, though. Okay, a Minotaurus. Looks pretty jacked. But yeah, with just one of them, that wasn't too much. He's worked quite a bit for an individual enemy, though. A lot of enemies in that room. Okay, this just brings me over here, so... Hmm. I do kind of want to check something out, but I guess let's move forward here first. kind of figured. Jesus. A lot of different enemies here. Oh. Well, this one will be over quickly. Oh. This sword didn't work on this one? They're undead too, though, I thought. Either way. Bone piles seem to be bombable sometimes. Yeah, samurai. Certainly looks like a samurai. I think I might have fought those at the last dungeon too, even. Seems familiar. Yeah, that's pretty good. Flex just could've used a little bit more, but it'll put him out of danger, I think. Good start. Lexus's multi-target attack should take out that third one now. And that should take out the first one. Yep. He didn't call another companion, so he'll be done after this round. Guy leveled up. Yeah, this doesn't seem to be doing anything this time, but that's fine. One of these mad heads. I kind of feel like I want to take out all the enemies in this room anyway, just because it's a good chance to gain some experience and get some money. Yeah, 
head attack. That's good. Alright, level up for Lexus. Kinda seems like there's nothing else going on in this room. So, almost like it was just a crap to get you in here with all these enemies. I'll look around at the walls a little more closely just to make sure there isn't some place to bomb. But the switch just lowered those spikes, it seems like. leveled up. Bone Gorum. Yeah, I saw them before, but I didn't see the name. And I went through that quite quickly because I thought it'd be over fast because Maxim's sword would take one out. But I was pretty sure, yeah, they weren't weak to it. So I just wanted to make, confirm that. ever use stronger on everybody again. No, let's just finish this the guy off. Yeah, there we go. Wow. They're a good source of those spell potions, at least, though. What's the big green guy? Hydra? Or us. Okay. Similar. Okay, that's a pretty nasty attack. Let's see how much champion heals everybody for. Oh yeah. That's just kind of a shame when you do those party targeting heals, it doesn't heal my capsule monster. Another Medusa. Seems like they're an old enemy at this point. a little bit more out of the fight. Alright, sell and level up. Use some of his. Two more enemies, I think. He defends. I guess he remembers what happened the last time I ran into two of these guys. Wait them out.
Yeah, those guys aren't anything that important. I think these guys are worth quite a bit. They're not that hard, I don't think. Should be done pretty quickly. That should do it. Oh, it's not. I was mistaken. Okay, back over here. I think I have an idea for what I need to do to move forward from here to get over to the left-hand side on the bottom part there. So we're going to go ahead and call it there for today, but we'll pick up here next time and move forward from there. Anyway, thanks for watching. And if you've been enjoying the content so far, please like, comment, and subscribe or follow. And we'll catch you next time.